Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about Daredevil. That's right, Daredevil looks like is finally officially confirmed in the MCU. But who spilled the beans this time? Well, it looks like it's the boss himself, Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige has confirmed that yes, Charlie Cox as Daredevil is back in the MCU. He is going to officially be the daredevil of the MCU. Uh, I think they're going to soft reboot it uh, by using the same actors from that series, but not necessarily 100% uh, connected to that original series. They'll have that series as like a loose uh, canon kind of thing, similar to like how the original Hulk movie with Eric Bana is not canon. But if you want an origin for the Hulk, there's nothing stopping you from watching that again to uh, see that origin. There's nothing really conflicted about it unless you watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I believe is not canon. Um, but who knows? Anything is possible in the future. Um, because one character who was in Hulk uh, was later shown again in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., who we saw die in that original Hulk film with... Uh, Eric Bana. Um, the Hulk movie that is connected is The Incredible Hulk. So I think they'll they'll treat it like that as a loose continuation. Uh, like they'll, okay, you already know how he became Daredevil. Now let's get straight into these other stories that we want to tell. Because season one of Daredevil pretty much dealt with that. But we'll see. Anything is possible. Maybe they will use the full continuity. Does that mean Jessica Jones and Luke Cage and Iron Fist are all part of it as well? Who knows? Uh, right now, I'm going to guess no uh, until we know otherwise. Although I wouldn't mind Kristen Ritter returning uh, as uh, Jessica Jones and um, um, uh, Mike Michael Coulter as uh, Luke Cage was great too. Uh, Iron Fist, I wouldn't mind either. I didn't hate Iron Fist like most people, but uh, I, most people did not like Iron Fist. So if they don't, I get it. Um, but yes, Charlie Cox is Daredevil. Kevin Feige did not say where he's going to pop up next, but I think most of us know. There's an upcoming movie that I, I, I think a leaked photo even came out. Uh, thanks to John Campia, uh, <laughs> and uh, I think I think uh, that's where he's going to pop up. Funny enough, we're all also speculating that the Kingpin, played by Vincent D'Onofrio in that same series, is going to be popping up in Hawkeye. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to be episode five. So not this week's episode of Hawkeye, but I believe the next episode of Hawkeye. The one after this week's uh, will uh, be featuring the kingpin and show revealing who he is because that that shirt that that dress shirt that he was wearing uh, and the coat uh, looked very similar to what he wore in Daredevil. I actually just watched one episode during the weekend and uh, yeah, he was wearing very similar type of clothing. Uh, so I just want to point that out there. And episode five is the right one. Comes out December fifteenth just a few days before Spider-Man No Way Home. So what great way to cross-promote than by showing Kingpin and Hawkeye and Daredevil in Spider-Man. And Spider-Man and Daredevil obviously have had a lot of team-ups in the comics. And also the Kingpin is another villain of Spider-Man's, not just Daredevil. So who knows, maybe one day we could see Spider-Man uh, going at it with the Kingpin. We'll, we'll wait and see, but uh, anything is possible by this point. So with that being said, guys, tell me, are you excited that Charlie Cox is finally confirmed to be the MCU's daredevil? Or were you hoping for Ben Affleck to come back? Who knows? Uh, ben Affleck is a great Batman, and I, I hope he continues more as Batman, but we'll see what happens after the Flash movie. Uh, but... Uh, this news about Charlie Cox, uh, that that's great. That's great. Marvel gets it when a character and an act when an actor is really popular in the role of a character, uh, keep that 
actor as that character because that pleases the fans. And I wish Warner Brothers would take notice and do something with Henry Cavill as Superman because we have no idea where that character is on the other side of things. So WB, take notes of this. Clearly Marvel gets what the fans want. Uh, with that being said, I'm rooting for both Marvel and DC, but DC sometimes, they don't make the right decisions. Uh, with that being said, until next time, everybody, take care.